everyone, welcome back. This is Kirsten from JK Fiber Arts. I uh, wanted to uh, have you all help me decide what we should do next. I just finished the Tour de Fleece and uh, I feel like I've been doing a lot of art bat spinning, but this was one that I made that I really, really loved. Uh, this was the Deep and it has just a couple little stray locks in it and silk noil and merino uh, and a merino alpaca blend. Uh, and um, Firestar. Oh, and there's some dorset horn silk in here too. I have everything but the kitchen sink in this, but this is the deep. Uh, and I think that uh, if you wanna see it, look at, this is the quote unquote unfinished side. Oh, got a little wild noil there. Um, look at that. And then look at the finished side. <laughs> um, so this is something that I really, really wanted to spin for, uh, the uh, Tour de Fleece, but I just I just didn't have enough time. I couldn't get to everything. So this is something we could spin. And if y'all wanted to see that next, we can do that. Uh, let me put this one away. The other option, since I haven't done too much in the way of commercial talk lately, is this beautiful, uh, and this is Rambouillet, which um, I absolutely adore. Um, Jakira Farms it has, is just wonderful. Let me uh, whoop, undo this. So you can see just some of this, but look at this. And so what I would like to do with this, and I haven't done a fractal spin in a while with you guys, uh, just, oh, their dye, their dyeing is absolutely amazing. Could probably just spin it straight up and two ply it, but I thought we would do a fractal. Um, so I, what I would do is I would, I have eight ounces. I would like to spin one straight and then um, set this up for a fractal. Uh, I have so much, I think maybe I would like to do a three ply. And I'll show you how to do that, um, how to divide for a fractal three ply and how to spin that up. Uh, and uh, that could be fun if you're interested in fractal spinning, we can go over all of that. Uh, and then the next thing I have, and this was just one of those serendipitous uh, moments where uh, I bought eight ounces of this beautifulness from Camash Fiber Arts. And uh, it is um, merino, mulberry silk, and pineapple. Uh, and the white in here is the pineapple, and uh, this is a beautiful blend. And I did spin this one, and I did the video, it was the most recent one about how to spin from the fold, and that finished yarn uh, was awesome. But as I was spinning this, I kept thinking, this would be an awesome thick and thin spin. Uh, and coincidentally, I bought this. Uh, this is a commercial cone of uh, silk. Uh, mulberry silk and uh, I got this from the uh, Miller Girls Luxury Fibers on Facebook group and uh, they are awesome and this has like over a thousand yards on it or something so plenty I could do this many many times over but I thought we could do a thick and thin and um, work with that and I think that would look really cool plaid with that um, it was just amazing it just coincidentally was like the perfect color for this so that is another option so um, I will uh, maybe wait to hear what you guys have to say. I am still kind of in summer mode, so I think I'm leaning towards a fractal. I haven't done a good fractal spin in a while, so we could do that. Um, and then uh, this one I also am really interested, I'm, I'm interested in all of them. So what are you guys interested in? Let me know. Uh, just uh, uh, add uh, your thoughts in the comments.